Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Keys. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how I incorporate Discord into my stream overlay. So we're going to take a quick look today at three different options. So we're going to be using the link in the video here and I also linked it in the description below. You have the ability to install uh, these widgets on OBS or on XSplit and there's three types of widgets. There's a status widget which includes how many people are online in your Discord in an invite link. There's a chat widget which allows you to pull in chat from one of your channels and there's also a voice widget so if you're using a, a voice chat in the discord you're going to be able to pull that in as well so to set up your status widget you're going to select the server that you'd like to pull in you'd also uh, i recommend checking off display count shows how many people are online the server icon and you're going to want to click the uh, display invite link if you want people to openly join your discord I'd also recommend adjusting the opacity to somewhere around 40%. This will make it so that the background of that widget is semi-transparent. Um, last but not least is just copying the link and I'll show you how to uh, do a quick install here right in OBS. So now that we have OBS open, you're going to want to go to add a source. Um, from here, you'll be displayed with all the different source choices. Choose browser source. Um, and you'll see that it's uh, allowing you to select HTML. We're going to use a, a specific link. Um, you can change the name to whatever you'd like. You can see that I've already set up a few, but I'm going to add these ones specifically. So copy and paste your link in the URL bar. You do have the ability to recache um, the particular widgets. So you can see what it'll actually look like. Don't worry about the sizing. You're, you are able to resize once you've added it. So click done. And then you can drag and drop any of the corners to resize. And you can move it around and, and position it wherever you'd like. So it's extremely customizable as to where this shows up on your screen. Next is the chat widget. So again, you would select the server that you want to pull in. Um, you then select the text channel that you want to feature. Um, for me, this isn't really something that I, that I openly do, um, but some people might want to pull in um, some Discord chat. Most people want to use their Twitch chat so that it's overlaid on their video, um, but it's completely up to you. You can select a fade in, fade out time, and again, I'd recommend adjusting the opacity just so that it doesn't take away from the gameplay experience that people are looking for. You really want to have a fine balance of text interactivity and the gameplay itself. Um, for installation, it's the same. You just copy and paste the link, and we'll do a quick install here over in OBS. So again, we, we use the same method. We select the ad source, the browser source. I'd suggest entering a name before uh, copy and pasting the URL just so you know wh which uh, source it is. Then you can click cache again to view what it looked like on your screen. Again, we have the same sort of adjustments. We have the ability to drag to resize as well as drag to reposition on the screen. The last widget we have is the voice widget. So again, this allows us to select our server and select the voice channel. And what this will do is put speech bubbles up on uh, your overlay. So as different fire team members are communicating, you know which ones are specifically doing so. It just adds a really nice flair to your channel. Um, you can uh, toggle off and on to show who is speaking or speaking users only. You can adjust the size of the avatars. I don't really focus on this too, too much because I think they're already sized quite well. Uh, or you can hide names. And again, I'd adjust um, changing the opaque setting as well, just so that some of it is transparent and again, not taking too much away from your gameplay. Um, installation is the same again, so we're gonna add a browser source. Again, you can change the name. You can copy and paste the URL into the URL bar. And we have the same sort of caching options and adjustments as well. Uh, so again, a quick copy and paste, cache, just to see it on the screen, click done. And now it's completely up to you as to where you want to locate these three overlay elements. Um, you have full customization on, on where you want all these elements to be. I'd recommend putting the text somewhere maybe along the bottom or on the side. I do like having the uh, chat bubbles or voice bubbles right underneath the Discord invite. Um, just makes it a very nice and uh, user-friendly experience. Well guys, that takes us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope it answers a lot of your questions. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you'd like to show your support, hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.